hey to welcome back uh, today our uh, fourth video of um, design key value store today we will talk about uh, data uh, replication data uh, replication replication in the last episode we talked about data partition um, uh, if you didn't watch the, the three previous video, I recommend to watch them before watching this video. However, if you watch this video, uh, if you watch uh, the previous videos and you just need a quick review or a quick recap, we will make uh, this right away. Um, we have um, in this series we have a, a, a series that we talk about how to design a key value store, and we said all the time in system design reviews all the time that uh, the questions are vague uh, are pretty vague or open-ended so uh, our job as an interviewee is to get a clarification questions to understand what specifically our interviewer wants us to design so for this example we ask maybe uh, four questions uh, or five questions i guess and, and, and actually in, in any system design interview because it's only 45 minutes you you want to ask maybe like from five to seven questions or five to ten questions not more than that or not less than that and after you ask the question, I will not go through all the questions because you can just see them. Um, um, we, 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 we got um, uh, an idea of our what is the functional requirements that we, we want, what is the non-functional requirement that we, are, we, we want. And, um, and it's quite important that after we put the functional requirements and the non-functional requirements that we ask our interviewer, is this okay? Is there anything else we are missing? If there is anything else we're missing, our interviewer can add it so we make sure that we design the right things for them. Um, after that, we talked. Uh, after that, we, we we finished the understanding the problem. We have this framework that we use all the time. That first we understand the problem, and this is what we do. Uh, after that, we propose a high level design, and in the proposing the high level design, we talk about the cap theorem because, and we talk about the cap theorem that it's it's um, it's. Uh, oh, one minute. We talk about the cap theorem, and we say that. It is impossible for any distributed system to uh, to guarantee these three things: the uh, consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. And we said that um, uh, just a minute, delete that. And we said that we have three types of, of, of system: um, the system that works, uh, the AB system, availability and partition tolerance while sacrificing the consistency. And we have the EC system, the availability and the consistency while sacrificing the partition tolerance. And we have a CP uh, system, uh, uh, consistency and partition tolerance while sacrificing the availability. And we said that uh, the the EC uh, uh, system is not a real world system because uh, partition tolerance or network failures are not something that we can avoid. So we only uh, choose between AB system or CB system. And for this one, we are for the topics we are going with the um, AB system because it's uh, if if we if we look our our requirements it's uh, uh, we 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 require high availability and and uh, and tunable uh, consistency acceptable consistency so our system is eb and from the functional requirements non functional requirements we know which type of systems that are we design maybe some we have some database that it will be cb for example we have a, a, a database that will be for bank system and bank system requires a hard, a hard consistency uh, instead of high availability so it just it's it's not it's not um, like there is no one design that fits all it's each design will be unique for this specific interview what we are doing now is just that we build that framework and um, to to know how we can be successful in in the system design interview and uh, after we finish the proposal high level design about uh, after talking about the cap theorem we took we took uh, we started to give the deep dive in the system components and we talked about the data partition and we said that is um, in in the data partition that it's 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 not possible for us to um, let me take the pen because I'll use a pen I guess again yeah. so we said that it's not possible for us to to store all of the data in one database because we have two problems first of all it's um, we had a uh, single point of failure second um, there is no um, the, the the server will have limits we can't increase the server for 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 like for end the system has a, has a limit so we have data partition what is data partition uh, we basically um, uh, store our servers in, in 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 a hash ring and for each key for example let's say that we have this key uh, for each key 
we store the uh, the uh, the key the, the key and its value in the next server going uh, clockwise and um, we said that using this way that it's uh, it's uh, it's easy to uh, automate scaling server could be added or removed automatically depending on the load and it's it's easy to, to handle that and also that we have uh, the number of the virtual nodes because we have maybe you have this this this, this uh, node we can just have a virtual node of it the number of virtual nodes um, for a server is is, uh, is 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 linked with the with the, uh, the server capacity of uh, of high load so the server that has high capacity we will we'll put uh, we'll put uh, we'll put we'll, we'll put the server multiple maybe like four or five times and multiple times in, in in the hash ring and other servers that doesn't have that much capacity we we'll, maybe you could put them less times on the hash ring and we right now we we, we distributed the the, the the data that we have and what we are going to 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 solve this today is that how we could just give me a minute Mm -hmm. um, how we could uh, let me add another one how we could uh, achieve high availability so and uh, and the reliability of our uh, application so when we talk about data uh, reliability and, and availability uh, we, it will be data must be replicated asynchronously this is quite important uh, our data must be replicated uh, asynchronously over like um, an amount like some amount of service like, let's say like in amount of service or like three servers to make sure that we have we have no uh, uh, our data is 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 available as uh, as uh, much as possible so what we could do to do to to do what we can do right now is to 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 make sure that we have maximum availability is that use some something called deprecation so let's say that we have this key and we we said that in the partition that we go to clockwise and save our key in 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 this server okay and right now we we replicated our 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 uh, we we um we partitioned our data or we shorted our data so to achieve the maximum reliability and the availability that we will copy or we will we will store our our key value store we go the same uh, uh, we go same clockwise but we'll store in uh, our key value we store in multiple servers like like that this and this and maybe like the third one and this and by by um by doing that with with, with doing that we make sure that our data is stored in, in 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 three four servers so our data will be um, available and reliable and maybe we have um, one problem that coming with this one is that maybe you have virtual nodes so this maybe this this node and this node are the same because they are virtual and we just put them in, in different hash functions so it is it in different positions so what we could do is that to make sure that we don't store the when we replicate the data we don't store them in the same server multiple times so what we do that it, it, it that we could make storing the the replicating the, the nodes be unique by server id to make sure that we're not um we're not uh, uh saving the data uh in the same server and other thing that we because we have um, uh, maybe this this node are in a specific data center and if if this uh oh sorry and if um if this data center is 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 failed sorry is this data center is failed or everything will be failed so we could just also replicate our data across other data centers to make sure that we have the maximum availability and um, by doing that we guarantee the availability and i guess we will have a next problem which is how we can manage the consistency and how we can make our data as consistency as possible and this we will talk about it in the next video so that's it for this video and if you like my my content today uh, make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video and there is something else that i i just uh, i'm saying in in the analytics of of the of my videos that is 96 percent of you are not subscribed to my channel so feel free to subscribe to my channel and this is because this has helped me and helped my channel get grow more and more and help me to uh, and encourage me to put more awesome content so that's it for today's video and see you in future videos